We now move on to the first keynote session of the event. I take this opportunity to invite on stage Mr. Laszlo Posse, ICT management consultant, T Systems. Mr. Laszlo is a computer scientist from Germany. He joined Deutsche Telekom in Germany in 1991. He started as a computer scientist by being involved in the development of large IT and business applications. Since 1996, he has been managing different large software implementation, enterprise solution, and ICT projects for customers of T-Systems India. He was responsible for building the systems integration business of the company by leading the sales and operations in India. In 2008, he took over as Vice President of Sales Responsibilities at T-Systems in the Asia-Pacific region, and since 2011, he shares his experience with top-level clients as ICT management consultant by driving ICT innovation projects and developing global business and markets. We welcome you, sir, to SITM. I request, sir, to kindly preside over the session and share his views on the topic, Big Data Analytics. Is the presentation on the... Yeah, you have to have, huh? huh? Never give up. Hmm? So this forward, backward, and the forward. Oh, it's not here. So, uh, good uh, afternoon. <laughs> it's my pleasure. It's my greatest pleasure to be here. Sunil, thank you very much for inviting me. It's something very interesting when you spend half of your life with a company and learning a lot from a great company, but as well spending your time with great people, which I have had the chance uh, within my life, uh, paying tax in basically in five countries, but since under the same contract, it is something which gave me also the experience uh, where I said I should use this experience as well to help my company and to help also other people like young people sharing my experience with you. I would have been proud to meet some of you a few years ago when we have just recruited uh, many of the young, fresh Indian students who joined our organization but in few words, I will be probably talking about this later. So, T-Systems is uh, going to present uh, in the next, let's say, half an hour, doing a very short introduction, which was already shared with you about, about me. But uh, for me, it's very important to speak also about my company, because my company is basically my family. I grew up with this company, uh, went in different countries, in different continents, and therefore, Somehow, um, yes, I'm more than proud being an employee of this organization for more than 22 years. Uh, in my presentation, I will focus, I will share information with you about Deutsche Telekom, T-Systems. Um, maybe I won't, I will not go in too much details, but the presentation slides, I will leave here with the organization and I'm... Can you hear me? If not, then we will repeat everything. Um, so that means I want to share some slides about the organization. In the second part is something which is, for me pers personally, very important because after learning, let's say, uh, from different countries, from different organizations, also from customers, what is important for them, uh, I was trying to use basically the experience 
within my organization in the last year to find really something which is helping. And the question was uh, here just raised uh, two hours ago. Uh, do we have a solution which is really helping us to generate new revenue streams in the telco industry? Uh, and I believe I have something which is in the second part of the presentation. I was working and I'm working on this project for the last 11 months, totally focused on this solution and uh, hope that the first evidence will come within a very short time uh, in the market. <clears throat> the topic is a big data solution, it's about analytics, it's about real-time technology, it's applied data science and it's made for the digital marketing. But is a solution which enables the telco operator to generate, to use, basically to uh, create value out of the data. We call it data monetization. So uh, the 22 years is for me therefore important because one of the nicest part of the last 10 years I spent here, very close, here in Pune, 2004, I came for two weeks to India. I fall in love with India, with you, with the challenge, and I left after four years. 2008, went back to Germany, and then was using this experience, helping the organization also in the, our <coughs> businesses in Asia Pacific. I was responsible for this, and the last three years, uh, as you all, you two priorities in your life, and one of the, one of the lessons learned for me was as well. So there are some few things which are very important in the life. And the first, which is health, second for me, family, and the third, do things with passion, do things that about you are convinced, and then certainly you will contribute to your organization. So you see that uh, I was uh, more than 25 years ago teaching mathematics and physics, talking to students like you. It was in Eastern Europe, I was born in Romania, but I was teaching also in Hungary, in Budapest, and then went to Germany when I was 25 years old, coming from the communism, going to the capitalism, and so that's my life. I uh, will be 50 next year, and really, it is uh, the last, let's say, 10 years. Always when I'm walking and talking to people, I'm saying India is the part of my life which changed really my life. So, Neil, thank you again for inviting me. <laughs> Deutsche Telekom. Uh, today I'm not talking about German cars. I'm talking about, <laughs> about Deutsche Telekom. Uh, René Obermann, our CEO, we have a very simple vision. We want to be an international market leader when it comes to connected life and work. For me, it's especially important because I'm traveling across countries and I'm having here in my pocket this mobile phone since 93. The same, uh, the SIM card has been changed, but the number is the same. And I'm really proud about this, that I'm connected with my family, with my work, with my friends, wherever I'm going. And basically, so that's the mission, uh, that's the vision of ours to bring connectivity wherever for our customers and for our people in Germany. Deutsche Telekom maybe, T-Mobile is more known to you. T-Mobile is present uh, basically very strong in Germany and some European countries, but also in the US. Today was about 139, 140 million mobile subscribers worldwide. Then the second part of Deutsche Telekom is the telecom itself, providing basically fixed line services, broadband, uh, but IPTV as well. And the third one, where I'm employed, it is T-Systems, is the business customer segment. We are serving ICT solutions for more than 400 large customers. 
of our company, customers like Deutsche Bank, Lufthansa, so large global players, the DHL, which are also present in India. So some facts and figures. Uh, yes, uh, it is, um, there are too many figures to say, but it is very important that in Germany we are basically the number one, uh, present in more than 50 countries worldwide. Uh, we are almost by 60 billion euros revenue. And what is important for me also to share with you that Deutsche Telekom has about 10,000 uh, trainees and young people who are basically always coming in in the company and helping us to bring also new things and contributing also in the innovation of our organization. Uh, we are basically a company which is paying very high attention on security and sustainability. We are providing basically uh, services for not only for the large uh, global players, but as well to the uh, German government. And so we say that we think ahead because uh, we really invest a lot of money, not only in the network, which is a very strong program currently, which is running in the headquarters to invest more billions to create, we call it the Gigabit Gesellschaft, uh, which is uh, uh, enabling us in Germany being finally to connect people on the highest possible speed and, and companies too. Um, we have large innovation centers, some of them probably will be shown um, in my slides. T-Systems as a daughter, 100% daughter company of uh, um, Deutsche Telekom, and as Neil said, yes, we are enabling basically our customers with our ICT solutions to get uh, the best solutions for the customers. Strategy, uh, basically compete, transform, and innovate. Talking about innovation, when I, I was synchronizing a few uh, ideas with Sunil about what is important for you today. You will be talking about innovation and what is important. Entrepreneurship, changing the business models. Yes, all these things we are contributing, we are doing by our own as well. Some of the examples will be shown to you. The history of the company, as I said to you, I joined Deutsche Telekom in 91. It was still the IT department of Deutsche Telekom. You don't see here, but in 2000, it means I was working 10 years for Deutsche Telekom within the IT department, started like you, programming, software development. Then I was growing, I was doing two, three, five, ten 10 projects parallelly, then take over other jobs, and then I have learned that the company is also growing, I wanted by my own to contribute, you know, to the international growth of this organization. And in 2000, when basically two companies, 17,000 IT specialists from Deutsche Telekom and 17,000 IT specialists from DEBIS, which is Daimler-Benz Information System House, was basically the IT factory, the IT systems house of Daimler, has been merged together and T-Systems was born. From that day, but I was very proud because I wanted to contribute to bring this company also to become more international. And the year after, in 2001, I went abroad, wherever Deutsche Telekom was buying or was acquiring, was servicing new customers like in Hungary, Hungarian Telekom. One year later, Croatia, the Croatian Telekom was taken over. I went there and I used the experience from Deutsche Telekom in Germany to implement SAP to build up competence centers, and so on. Went 2003 to US, when voice team has been taken over, which became the T-Mobile USA, was helping how to transform PeopleSoft into SAP standards of Deutsche Telekom. So with this experience, came home in 2004, and then somebody did ask me, there is a challenging project uh, in Pune, so would you like to go there with your experience and help? So, 
two weeks was the delegation, but as I said, in these first two weeks I fall in love. Uh, don't ask me with whom, but I fall in love in India, I fall in love with, in the challenge to grow here the organization, and uh, then I met basically first Reggie, then in 2005 was, he became my, my managing director, and then Sunil uh, coming and heading the research and development department, and the story is long, uh, we can continue this uh, in the break session. So today you see there are many customers where we have taken over infrastructure, we have taken over services, and with all these experience, today these systems is with about more than 50, 50,000 employees worldwide and servicing these customers honestly. Uh, yes, 20 countries, more than 20 countries globally. In Germany, we are the first ICT provider. Uh, strong manufacturing and strong telecommunication expertise. The revenue is about 10 billion euros, 2012. That's what T-Systems is contributing into the total 60 billions of Deutsche Telekom. About the solutions, yes, how we have created our, let's say, offerings. As a large organization, you have to concentrate, basically, uh, to not do things only just simple, but try to do things in a very focused way and analyzing basically what, is, what are the challenges of the public sectors and, the, and of our customers. You see the economic crisis, dependency on export, uh, aging, ecology, uh, uh, virtualization, mobility. We put this together and we said we create it called, we call it core beliefs and based where we are focusing our services, our offering portfolio. These are the dynamic net-centric solutions, uh, which is nothing else than the cloud services. Neil was talking, interesting presentation about this. Then collaboration, mobile enterprise, security, which is becoming a very important, very important sector in the service area, not only from the system, but entirely for Deutsche Telekom. And then the sustainable solutions. <clears throat> you see here on the left side, we start with consulting, innovation, then entering in application services, infrastructure network services, and for the different industries, like the automotive, transportation, public utilities, health, telco. Uh, we're talking about the core competencies, what is what we are offering, basically, is um, large data centers, almost 100 data centers worldwide, exactly there are 89 data centers out of it, 22 twin core data centers. These are important figures when you talk to customers and you uh, want to offer them basically trusted and uh, basically global services, cloud services. The scalability of the platform was all there any question in the Good afternoon, sir. Uh, my name is Mayank. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm from First Year Systems SITM. Uh, I have a question. In 2010, uh, the world generated one zettabyte of data. And uh, by 2014, the world will be generating around seven zettabyte <coughs> So uh, how are you going to process this, this much amount of data?